Okay, you want to eat a carrot, so you buy one from the store. Before you eat it, you think by yourself, hmm, how can I make it taste better? You start slicing up the carrot, adding some oils and... <laughs> Never mind, you know where I'm going. Today I'm going to show you a few techniques that you can use to slice up your samples. First, you want to find a melody loop. Drag it in the playlist and the first thing you notice is that the BPM of the sample and the project doesn't match. <laughs> I think I'm going for a lo-fi vibe, so I want it to be around 70 to 80 BPM. Now enable the stretch tool and make the melody fit the tempo. Awesome, but now the pitch of the melody also shifted. To fix that, double click the loop. This will open up the sampler. Right click the pitch control and choose reset. Now the pitch is back to its original one. If you want, you can always change the pitch to your liking. Now click the audio icon and choose chop, then time based and select chop in beats. Now you can rearrange every chop to create a melody that you like. I created this very simple lo-fi drum pattern, so let's put it underneath the melody for reference. Check it out. That sounds awesome. The next slicing technique is also going to be very easy. First look at the BPM of your melody sample. Then match the BPM of your project file with the sample which is 70 BPM. Now right click it and choose edit in audio editor. Select the part of the sample that you want to use. Then click this button to import it in the playlist. Double click it and in the sampler right click the audio file. Then choose open up in Fruity slicer channel. Click the slice tool and from the menu choose beat. This will slice up the melody in perfect pieces. If you want to reverse one of the chops select it and check the reverse box. You can get really creative with this. Next, if you want to change the pitch of a sample, you can do that here with this slider. To fix the pops you hear in between the cuts, simply increase the attack. Oh, and with this slider, you can stretch the time of the sample. Definitely play around with it. Now, open up the piano roll, and here you see all the slices. You can rearrange them, and that will make the melody sound different. What I like to do is remove everything and start from scratch. You can also use a MIDI keyboard to play in the shops. This is what I came up with. With slide notes, you can create a tape stop effect, which is really cool for lo-fi. To do that, place a tiny little note underneath the chop, then double click it and click slide. Now it sounds like this. Since we're making lo-fi, I like to cut off the highs and to do that, go to the menu on the bottom left and choose note filter cutoff. Turn the levers down and now it sounds like this. Awesome. Now in the playlist, right click the pattern, choose quick render as audio clip and now you have a wave file that you can further manipulate. I added some drums underneath the melody and now it sounds like this. That sounds awesome. Now it's time to turn your loops into full beats and to do that you can check out this video here. So go continue the lesson. Uh, I'm waiting for you there. Subscribe. Gotta go now. Goodbye. Ah.